Nine Perfect Strangers was a trip to watch. You both normally play comedic roles in your career. Melissa, why did you decide to play a more serious role in this drama? You know, it's funny. I never think of it that way. I, I just, I tend to fall in love with the character because I think there's such funny moments, there's light moments, and there's heartbreaking moments. And to me, that always means that you've got yourself a three-dimensional character, which is, I don't know anybody that's always funny or always angry in life. So it's like you get to play someone who you actually buy as a person. And that's, I think it's what life is. It's it's happy, sad, and, and sometimes sideways. And, and a lot of times all mess, kind of missed, messed up together. So I didn't think of her specifically, it certainly has dramatic moments, but I think what's so great about this show is that it really gives you both. It gives you the whole messy bundle. And it's, it's to me, it's what I think people will connect with because everybody goes through that. I really enjoyed your character as you both surrendered to Masha, played by Nicole Kidman. Regina, how is working with Nicole Kidman and the rest of the cast? I, I think she could use some work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, and she, Melissa, I mean, you know, you're like, wow, these are Oscar nominees. <laughs> um, but that's my personal opinion. Other than that, um, uh, no, they were, she was tremendous. And it was, it was fascinating to watch her and all the choices that just, she's organically, you know, it, I mean, she was, you have to stay so present. Um, um, with her because of the way she works. But I, I felt like that also with with um, the entire cast, I loved watching them. And I, there wasn't, they were all so dropped into their characters. And uh, that, I mean, that honestly, as, as an artist, is a gift to be able to, to watch a cat, to just to be opposite and watch someone who's who you really love watching and experiencing working with them. I love the series. I thought it was awesome. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. Um, Melissa, what's your message to someone who is trying to fight off their own demons? Mm. I think embrace them, realize we all have them and, and seek help. And I think, I, I think, you know, hopefully we're coming into a, a different time, especially after this last year and a half. I think everybody, it's okay to not be, nobody is perfect. That That's a, the biggest, you know, scam going is this perfect life and how we present ourselves. Everybody needs to be able to reach out to people and there's there's no weakness in it. That's such a powerful message. Regina, what do you want people to know when watching the show? I mean, I think, you know, I think I would echo um, Melissa's sentiments, but I think all, all of us can just see where each of us can find a little bit more compassion inside of ourselves to hold space for each other, you know, because life, life is cycles and you may be in a cycle where you have the strength to support someone and then vice versa. So I think we look at where we are and see where we can um, really um, um, not judge and, and not, um, not, not criticize. Where can we offer, you know, a lot of, a lot of compassion and love for each other. Manny, you're known for your role in The Good Place, and now you're Nicole Kidman's right-hand man at the Wellness Resort. What do you want yeah. people to know about your character? Oh, um, what do I want people to know about? Yeah, uh, I just want people to know that just like all the strangers, just like human beings in general, he's he has his own internal struggles, like whether that's clear or not to the audience, but he's definitely struggle struggling with with his devotion to, to Masha and, and, and Tranquilm and, and the purpose of it all but he's also struggling with, with common sense and being in love with, with Delilah. Um, he's, he's just like all the other strangers. He's just like any other human being. He's, he's dealing with his own uh, little demons at the end of the day. I really enjoyed your character. How was working with Nicole Kidman and the rest of the cast? It was great. It was, um, I mean, it was, it was a dream. Like, you know, I, you can't help but feel a little intimidated and anxious when you start working with her, but um, Nicole's an open book. She is, uh, she's an open book and just the most vulnerable person. Like you don't even have to act when you're with her. You just have to stay in the moment with her and, and great things will come. Um, so yeah, it was, it was all you'd ever really hope for in a scene partner at the end of the day. Um, 
and hopefully down the line they'll they'll be more we'll see fingers crossed also the wellness resort looks so beautiful can you talk a little bit about the production behind it Sure. Yeah. So we filmed in uh, Byron Bay, Australia. We were initially supposed to film in, in L.A. Um, so Nine Perfect Strangers is is uh, a story about being at a wellness retreat that was basically in paradise. And we got to film in paradise. So we got to transfer that energy, um, that weather into 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 our scenes. Um, and it was it was really helpful. Like we really got to take in. Byron Bay and and the beauty and the nature of it all so it was um a a real bonus getting the film out there it was so beautiful and it looked so amazing I feel like I have to check in and go visit there sometime but what is what is your message to someone who is trying to fight off their own demons um breathe (laughs) breathe breathe uh breathing is such an underrated uh tool um I I can deal with like being anxious and, and, and having anxiety. And I feel like breathing, knowing when you hold your breath, knowing that you're not breathing is, is huge. Just even knowing when you're, when you stop for like one second or, or two, like whether it be tying your shoe or picking up something or like reaching over, like, why did you hold your breath? It's a, uh, yeah, just like really looking to re- really looking into why one holds one's breath is can be huge. So just breathe at the end of the day. Um, and you'll be okay. That yeah, I think that's a powerful message. I feel like a lot of people, there's just so fast paced. Sometimes, sometimes people forget to breathe and that's like the simplest, um, technique. You yeah. Can do. It sounds um, super I, cheesy, but yeah. It's, it no, I, I completely agree, you know, so it's completely fine. Um, what do you want people to know after watching this series? Um, I don't know if it's, if I want people to really, uh, I don't know if it'd be knowing anything, sorry to get around your question, but like for me at the end of the day, once, when people go through this series, um, I just hope that they can have, um, you know, a second, a minute of, of self-reflection and be like having a deal. And hopefully they have a moment of self-reflection where they deal with themselves, you know, really look internally because that's kind of the whole pursuit of what Tranquilum, Tranquilum is trying to get at. And what all these nine perfect strangers are really trying to pursue is, is how do they deal with themselves and make themselves better? So I think hopefully at the end of the day, when people watch this series, people can just take a moment and be like, how do I make myself better? How do I, how do I uh, follow that path of self-improvement? And if well, we did you. that, then I think we did a good job. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Definitely. I can't wait to see more. I think it's amazing, the whole series. Hi, Hi how are you guys? Hi, good. Thank you. Nine Perfect Strangers was such a trip to watch. Asher, congratulations on your big Hollywood break. What was your experience like <laughs> diving into Hollywood production, being an Australian actress? Oh, it was exciting. I mean, look, you know, the shooting process feel, was the same, really. I mean, it felt, felt the same. Just and And... Uh, working with a wonderful ensemble of actors and people I genuinely really liked getting to know. Um, But, yes, of course, exciting. I mean, all actors want to, every actor wants a a big audience, you know, and I think that's something that's very exciting for us in Australia at the moment too is that our work is starting to push out because of the streamers and the different opportunities that are there to make drama and and um on an international level so yes it's a it's a great time I was very pleased to be involved in this one your character was incredible congrats again Grace I really enjoyed your character as you visit this unique wellness resort with your family in the show what do you want people to know about your character Zoe Zoe is very much a broken bird when you see her and I think her whole journey throughout the show is trying to (laughs) mend those wings and um and reconnect with her family after this traumatic event. And I, I hope that people can relate relate to her in a way that um, gives comfort in that everyone deals with grief in, on different levels and um, different coping mechanisms. And this whole show, I think, is, is able to, to show that, that no matter who you are and what you're going through, that that everyone deals with loss and grief at some point. I'm not sure what I would do if I ended up in this situation with my family. And I think your character plays it off so gracefully. 
Um, Asher, the location of the series is so stunning. Can you talk about the filming location? Yeah, isn't it beautiful? <clears throat> I know, I'm very proud to say it's part of, of, of the country I come from. So it's Byron Bay, uh, hinterland, and it, it's it's coast and hinterland. So you get, you, it's just exquisite from every direction, really. Um, you know, rainforest inland and then the most spectacular coastline. It was beautiful and it was wonderful shooting in a bubble like that, I have to say. We were, there was no complaint, there was no complaining about where we were shooting. The environment was very special and the experience was very special as well. Um, shooting that way, although we had quite strict protocols and, you know, at some point I thought, how are we even doing this? How are we getting this shot? You know, but it, it, we did and it was, it was wonderful and, and it felt all the more wonderful to be in a great environment like that. Very sticky and hot, but wonderful. It's extremely beautiful. I would definitely check in. Um, Asher, the series <laughs> is based on the book written by Australian author Leon Moriarty. Did you feel like the yeah. series accurately depicted the book? Yeah, look, I think that the all the wonderful complexities and layers that Leon uh, rights with were absolutely uh, delivered in the, the drama. I mean, you know, also extraordinary writers that, that are unafraid of complexity and, and um, uh, progressive and confronting topics. David E. Kelly, <clears throat> excuse me, our wonderful Australian writer Sam Strauss as well, John Henry Butterworth. I mean, there were so many wonderful vo creative voices on this show that I think it has been translated um, well, sensitively and beautifully. Thank you guys so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. Um, it's amazing, this series. So I can't wait right. for everyone to see it.